in this session let's learn about revoke okay and also we will learn how revoke works when system privileges or object privileges are granted with admin option okay the first one we will learn how to revoke system privileges and also revoke system privileges with admin option okay here example the dba has given grant create table to john with admin option okay that means john can create a table and also he can grant the create table to some other users so john granted create table to tom okay that's good so now when revoke happens let's see what happens okay here the dba said let me revoke the create table privileges for john so the syntax is revoke create table from john so the create table privileges for john are gone but if you remember john gave the create table to tom so since the dba revoked the create table to john even tom will lose it no he will not lose it okay only john will lose it remember this point now let's see how it happens with object privileges okay here the dba gave select privileges on sales table to john okay he gave it grant option that means john can select data from sales table and also he can grant select on the sales table to some other users so he gave select privilege to sales table to tom okay now later on the dba has revoked select privileges on the sales table from john okay and if you few remember john has given select to tom right as soon as the dba revoked the object privilege select from john even the select privilege on sales table for tom is also revoked okay so that means in case of a object privilege the cascade happens that means the select privilege on sales table for all the users granted by john will be revoked okay remember how the system privilege works and a object privilege works in a system privilege only john will lose all the subsequent users will not lose but whereas a object privilege all the subsequent users will lose it okay in the next session let's go to the demo and see how they work okay